What if a doctor could quickly acquire high-resolution images with good tissue contrast of a beating heart in this patient to see exactly what is making her coronary arteries expand abnormally? Or what if a patient must get an MRI scan done but is unable to hold his breath? Magnetic resonance imaging, also known as MRI scanners, are strong magnetic fields, radio waves and field gradients to generate images of the human anatomy. This process is time-consuming as data is acquired sequentially and is not fast enough for imaging moving organs like the heart. There are several challenges that have stared in the face of MRI engineers and designers over the years. The project, supported by the US India Science and Technology Endowment Fund, is the story of the next generation MRI scanner. Lighter, faster, accessible, and affordable. Hello, my name is Arjun Arunachalam, founder of Voxel Grids Innovations Private Limited. We build next generation MRI scanners, and my partner in this endeavor is Shaheen Purahimi from Superconducting Systems, Bilerica. Apart from being bulky, heavy, expensive, and requiring a lot of cryogenic liquid to keep the magnets cool. The clinical limitation of conventional MRI scanners is its relatively slow acquisition of anatomical images. Our invention actually allows us to image at a factor of three to four times faster than conventional MRI. The complex task that it was, the team took to them head on, one by one. A number of software inventions were used to help image faster with better quality even when anatomies routinely presented image distortions, such as around the nose and lungs. Magnetic resonance imaging inherently is an acquisition technique that acquires data serially, not in parallel. And in an attempt to increase the speed of serial acquisition of images, the attendant hardware also needs to be pushed up. And to perform faster after a certain point, physiological limitations kick in that prevent driving the software any faster. And that is the point where the only way to increase speed is to collect lesser data. In our patented technology, it seems like we collect less data. But what we actually do is collect all of the data in parallel rather than serially. And that is the big novelty here. Parallel data acquisition implies that all data has been acquired while there has been no increase in noise. This is possible only when the signal level has been maintained, which is the fuel to drive speed in this next generation, lightweight, ultra-fast MRI scanner. Finally, there's electronics. Electronics is state-of-the-art, allows us to use multiple RF antennas to image the entire human anatomy at a scale that's higher than almost all other MR scanners that are affordable today. It is for this that Voxel Grids has been granted patents in 12 countries across the world. Apart from quick and high-resolution image acquisition, what makes Voxel Grid's MRI scanners unique is its lightweight two-ton magnet weighing almost three times lesser as compared to conventional MRI scanner magnets. Regular scanners are so heavy that they are typically installed either at the basement or ground floor level where flow reinforcements are required for supporting the scanner. Not for this next-gen MRI scanner though, Conventional MRIs are bulky, they use a lot of cryogenics, they rely heavily on the vagaries of electrical supply, environmental conditions. For example, an MR scanner has to operate between 18 to 21 degrees centigrade. Uh, otherwise, it starts losing liquid cryogen. And beyond 25 degrees centigrade, there's always a danger of it losing all its liquid cryogen and actually failing. The elimination of liquid cryogens simplifies the cryogenic magnet. It gets rid of certain subsystems in the magnet which are heavy, as well as the liquid itself is heavy. Getting rid of that makes it lighter. Secondly, the magnet is completely, um, is made completely of aluminium, which is a lightweight material. Conventional MRI scanner magnets are typically of stainless steel. Even if there is aluminium, there is always liquid oxygen involved. And even when very little oxygen is involved, the circuitry is complicated. A simplified magnet is the key. If you could mount it on a lorry, or a big truck and take it to places, especially in primary health centre and also district hospital, 
and it can literally change the way we look into medicine in these places.